before we go into this game Sunday, man, I just want to talk about some stuff. I want to get it off of my chest of what I feel like is going on with the management of the Minnesota Vikings. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, Mark and Ziggy Wolf, from what I see, I think that what they need to do, man, this is very simple, is let the football people do the football things. Okay, I think there's a lot going on in the NFL because not only the Vikings are victim of this, we also have like the Panthers where their damn GM Tepper, shout out to my boy Black Cat, man. They be putting their fan base on point about how Tepper is just too involved. And I think we face similar problems in Minnesota. We face similar problems. We have ownership that is so caught up in the making money, thinking that if your team can win eight games a season and just make it to the playoffs, they don't have to win in the playoffs. Let's just make it there so we get that extra game where fans can buy tickets to come in and support the team. They think that's okay, so they want to call it a competitive rebuild, right? And now that I look at it, right, and I look at Ryan Poles and I look at Jim Harbaugh, they came into to interview to get the job last season before we hired Kwesi Adolfo Mensa. Now, I'm big on Kwesi. I think Kwesi's a good guy. I think he has leadership traits. I like how he carries himself. Very intelligent. Just seems like he answers every question with intention, right? So to me, I admire that about him. But I also worry about is he football-y enough, right? Because we know his background coming from finance, being Wall Street, the wolf on Wall Street and all this, right? And yes, that can play a good part in GMing, but it's not going to do everything that we need. And we're going to need some people in there that can handle the football-y football stuff, right? And when you have the Wilfs sitting here and keeping a string on Quasi being the puppet master, I don't think it's going to work. See, part of me felt like Quasi went in and said, you know what? We'll extend Kirk Cousins, but guess what we're not going to do? We're not going to fix the offensive line. We knew how many times he got hit last season. Well, we're going to go into this season with the same agenda, and he's going to get hit exactly how he was getting hit last season. And hopefully it doesn't turn out to a case where he plays so well that the Wolves pressure me to extend him. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Believe it or not, as we all know as Vikings fans, the Vikings offensive line has been playing a lot better than it was last year. I mean, what are they, rank fourth according to PFF? Now, you can take PFF however you want to. I know they got a bunch of numbers out there. We watch the game and we think different. Most fans think different about what PFF is putting down on paper. Again, on paper, man. Shout out my boy Yogi. <laughs> but no, nah, you know, I just think that the Wolves, I think this year, what's about to happen now we're going into a game against the bears where we're down one and four bro if we lose this game wills please step back let quasi do what he wants to do let him be the gm you hire him you bring him in and now we can all be wrong about this i know a lot of vikings fans feel like the wills have too much control that's why i named the video today right too much control but we could all be wrong about this. Maybe they are letting Quasi do whatever he wants to do. I doubt it. It doesn't look like that. It doesn't seem like that. They believe that Kirk Cousins can at least win you eight games because over his career, it's pretty much right there, right? He's about average when it comes to wins. Now, somebody will say QB wins isn't a stat. Yes, it is. When they talk about quarterbacks on TV, what do they talk about? How many games they won? How many times they took their team to the playoffs? How many Super Bowls they have? You have to win games to get to those levels. So winning is the most important. And actually, Kirk has said it himself out of his own mouth, even before this season. Like the stats and stuff are cool, but wins are what's important. You know, yes, it's a team sport, but the quarterback is the quarterback man the quarterback touches the ball more than anybody they're supposed to be the coach on the field during the plays like it's just that position where it's just you just gonna carry that weight it just is what it is you know and i feel like this if we extend kirk cousins right because i know there's a video out that we've seen where there are uh, some guy i forget the name it's blowing it but y'all drop it down in the comments but saying that he was there in the off season and he thinks that the vikings want kirk he thinks the Vikings still want Kirk and they wanted him in the offseason. They wanted him before the season started. They tried to get him an extension, but obviously the two sides couldn't come to an agreement. I have to say that it was false. I don't believe they wanted Kirk. You know what I'm saying? I think Quasi's negotiating, trying to keep it where, hey, 
let's let the world see that this season isn't good it isn't going good regardless of his stats and changes need to be made and hopefully they can believe in the gm that they signed okay you have to let the gm do his job okay because the wolves it's one thing you own the team i get it but if that's the case just be jerry jones bruh just be jerry jones you know what i mean since y'all know so damn much and guess what you're gonna realize that we will end up in the same position over and over again man listen the vikings franchise is too good not to be competing for a, a super bowl damn there at least every three years i feel like we win a lot like we have one of the most winningest franchises in history all right it's a pleasure to be a fan of this team and root on this team because we do get to win a lot of football games we just don't win the important ones and there's things that need to be changed and maybe that's the will stepping back and letting the football people do the football things okay simple as that let quasi handle his business and then we can judge if he even knows how to do the football things being that he comes from more of a financial background not a talent background now we have to depend on him to put people around hire the right staff to go out and scout these players because uh, the past couple drafts man it's not been looking that good okay jordan addison hit ivan pace jr's hitting you know we're big on brian Osamoa, but you know more than none isn't looking good and i'm gonna tell you right now it's not it's not going in the right direction for quasi because you have a lot of fans that aren't liking quasi thinking quasi's not making the right moves okay he extends tj hawkinson tj hawkinson is looking bad now and the lions fans warned us about that shout out my boy micro he said man y'all excited about tj but i'm gonna tell you he's gonna make you mad more than he's gonna make you happy and so far they're seeming pretty right right i think he'll bounce back i got faith in my boy but you know like listen I got to end the video like this, okay? This game that we're about to play in 48 hours, we need to make sure that if we don't go out there and perform and we lose this game, there needs to be a sale happening. The Neil Hunter, Harrison Smith. Hey, look, we love these guys. And y'all know RAP, I'm big on keeping good players. Don't get rid of your good players. Look, we're seeing the effects of it now, getting rid of Cook, regardless of how y'all think. Because I'm going to tell you right now, we gave up eight touchdowns and 1,100 yards. And ain't nobody on this team producing that yet. Don't even look like it's getting close to it, okay? So say what you want. But Cook was definitely productive all the way to the point where we let him walk out that door. But I think if we lose this game, they need to give the keys to Quasi and say, hey, here's your plan, bro. You already got one year under your belt. We won 13 games. You did what you did. We're going to give you the opportunity to really show us and show the fans if you can really build the roster that you want to build with the help of your coaches that you have around you that you brought in. OK, so this is the thing. Sell or do you try to competitive rebuild again and get the same results that we've been getting doing it the Wilfs way, Mark and Ziggy Wilf. That's the way I feel like they've been wanting to do it because Ryan Poles wanted to come in and tear this thing apart and do what he's doing with the Bears now um hardball hardball is the same type he probably wanted to mold this team how he wanted to hey we got to get rid of a lot of these assets let's bring in some new ones i got a certain style i want to play i got a certain style i want certain style of players i want on this roster and the wolves most likely were like nah dog we can't do that we got to keep cousins there's a couple players that we got to keep on this roster no matter what and i think quasi was nice enough to say you know what I'll take the deal. I'll do it y'all's way. And hoping that after a year or two, meaning this year or even next year, the wheels finally break in or give in and say, you know what? I right, we're going to trust you now. Do your thing. Let me know how y'all feel, man. Is management taking too much control? Is, is I mean, not man, the owners are Mark and Ziggy with too controllable, man. Do they have too much, too much strings attached to the coaches and the GM and not letting them make that exact moves that they want to make? Or is it just that the GM and stuff isn't looking good? Kevin O'Connell looks like he's falling off. Let me know down in the comments. Appreciate y'all tapping in. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer. Who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gonna do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toe switch. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm terrific. We ain't taking no losses. We 